Hey there, Alex here. The Samsung Galaxy A series is like a much neglected middle child in the Galaxy family. It's not as powerful or flashy as the S series, and it's not as accessible as the J series. It just sits quietly in the middle. In its third generation, it seems like the A series is all grown up. It can now do even more of the things that the S series can do. So let's take a closer look at the Galaxy A7 and see if it's any good. As part of the Galaxy family, the A7 looks exactly like how much it cost, which is basically a slightly cheaper version of the Galaxy S7. Glass front and back, and metal sides. It still looks and feels great, but it just lacks that polish and shine that the Galaxy S7 has. Like it's literally less shiny. An interesting design choice is that the speaker is actually at the side of the phone instead of the bottom. So instead of covering the speaker with my right hand, I'm now covering the speaker with my left hand instead. Anyway, the speaker itself is pretty average sounding. The A7 is now water resistant with an IP68 rating, which is definitely a very nice feature to have, considering there are way more expensive phones still without that feature. There is a 5.7 inch Full HD Super AMOLED screen at the front, and like all modern Samsung displays, it looks pretty wonderful in most lighting conditions. It has great contrast and nice colors. It may not be as amazing as the display on the S7, but it's definitely better than most phones in this price range. I am in the camp that thinks that Full HD is still plenty enough for everyday use. Furthermore, with lesser pixels to push around, the battery life and performance will likely be better as well. For those who find the A7 a bit too big, there is the slightly smaller A5 with a smaller screen and battery. Performance-wise, it's packing a mid-range Exynos 7880 chipset, 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal memory. This is a very similar chipset to the Snapdragon 625, also with Cortex A53 cores and built using the 14nm process. The phone handles most everyday tasks with ease, even with a bit of gaming thrown in. The user interface is generally pretty responsive despite touch risk. It takes a tiny bit more time to open apps or load a game, but nothing that I would consider a deal breaker. On the bright side, the processor seems to be pretty power efficient. With a 3600mAh battery, I'm getting really great battery life with more than a day of use and great screen on time. It supports fast charging as well, but since the battery life is so good, I rarely found myself needing it. Software-wise, it's running a version of TouchWiz that looks similar to the Note 7. It's still running on Android 6.0, but it already comes with some Android 7.0 features like split screen multitasking and blue light filter. It's a bit of a bummer it's not on Android 7.0, but at least the security patch level is still relatively recent for now. It supports Samsung Pay, which means I can use it for mobile payments at more locations with Samsung's MST technology. Always on display is here too, which is a feature I have grown to love on the S7. Another nice touch is that the fingerprint sensor is now always on, so no need for a button press to wake the phone first. Then you get a bunch of other touch with features too, like the ability to hide important data in secure folder, run apps in a floating window, game tools for enhanced gaming experience, picture-in-picture -picture mode in the Samsung browser, take a long screenshot, clean the device up, and a bunch of other stuff. So software experience-wise, it's going to be a pretty familiar one if you have used a Samsung phone before, which is to say it's decent but not fantastic. The A7 has a 16 megapixel rear camera with f1.9 aperture, which actually performs really well in most lighting conditions. You're not going to get s 7 light quality from this camera, but it's still pretty good. It does struggle a little bit in low light, especially with no optical image stabilization, but then again, most mid-range devices do. That said, it is still slightly better than I expected it to be. My main complaint with this camera is the app itself. Not with the lack of modes compared to the S7, but with the auto mode. The auto mode isn't really that great because I still have to manually switch between HDR and night mode to get the most out of the camera. It's 2017 for crying out loud, and even mid-range devices deserves a full auto mode with auto HDR and scene detection. The front camera fares a lot better with its 16 megapixel camera and f1.9 aperture. I don't take much selfies, but I am pretty impressed with the images that it's able to produce, even in dimmer lighting conditions. So while the camera experience isn't perfect and the focusing speeds isn't the fastest around, I think it's still a decent camera for a mid-range device, especially if you use the front camera more than the back. 
So is the Galaxy A7 worth buying? Well, it depends. On its own, it's really good at almost everything, but it's not great at anything in particular. If I wanted to name it, I'll probably just call it Jack, because basically, the A7 is a jack of all trades. Except for the fact that it's able to support two SIM cards with a micro SD card, and it has great battery life, it's basically a step down from the Galaxy S7 in almost every single way. And that's a good thing, because for a mid-range phone, it's hard to find a package as complete as this. However, I do think that the A7 is a little bit pricey for what it is. For around the same price, there is the OnePlus 3T which has better specs, camera and software experience, even though it doesn't have water resistance and the display isn't as good. Or maybe even a used Note 5 or S7 Edge could be a decent option too. But if you want to stick with a brand you know, want a brand new phone and don't want to spend too much money, the Galaxy A7 will most likely satisfy your needs. Thanks for watching, do give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks and see you guys on the next one.